Welcome to Biology 120 students. It's our first week in the semester and I'm looking so forward to meeting each of you online and guiding you through this course. Um, I've sent you an introductory video of me in an email message. I've also posted instructor information on the website and if at any point in this course you have questions or there's something going on in your life that prevents you from turning in an assignment, I encourage you to please reach out to me because I am here for you. So I wanted to start off the week with some announcements and to help guide you through this first week. I don't know how new you are to SNHU, but I want to guide you through this first week of Biology 120. So let's start off with reading chapter one in the textbook. The textbook is listed in your syllabus. And as I mentioned in my video that I sent to you through email, the textbook is an open stacks textbook, which means that it is free and it's online. It's available to you 24 seven. So get in there and read that first chapter in the textbook. It's not difficult to read. Uh, it's an easy read. Uh, you'll also need to watch the two videos that are in Module 1. Uh, one is on the scientific method, which is, of course, terribly important for the way that science works, and also what it means to be alive. Uh, and also you're going to read the article on a giant virus that has been discovered and whether we consider viruses alive or not. And I will tell you, being a microbiologist, that microbiologists do not consider viruses alive because they don't meet all the definitions, all the criteria for uh, the definition of life. Um, but you come to your own conclusion about that. The discussion post this week, you will have three that you will be posting. Your initial post will be due by Thursday night. And in this one, you're going to introduce yourself to us and, you know, be personable here. You don't need to just check off boxes and say, here's my name, here's my background, here are my career goals. So be personable and tell us about you and what your background is, what you plan to do when you finish SNHU. And uh, explain to us how you think this course is going to help us, help you, not me, help you in your new career. Um, you're going to explain why the scientific method is important in biology. That's one of the things that you need to do. And you're going to tell us an example of how you have used the scientific method in your everyday life because we all do this. So just to give it some thought. Is it in cooking? Is it in figuring out if your child is sick? Is it... Uh, starting your car in the morning. There, there are lots of ways that you use the scientific method. All right, so that's your initial post. And then by Sunday night, you need to respond to two other students' posts in the discussion board. Include what you have in common with this person. So read through the post and, and start to learn your fellow students. And also share tips and resources that you use to help you uh, be successful in your classes and especially in science or biology classes if you have any of those. That would be very helpful. All right, and then you're going to need to also complete your first journal entry and it's entitled To Be or Not To Be Alive. I've linked a video, a YouTube video right here. Um, I'll also include this slide in my announcements so that you have the, uh, the URL right here. Um, it's a really short video on the definitions of life and the criteria of uh, being alive. That might help you with this entry. So you will also need to complete that by Sunday night. I also want to give you just a few general hints about the class. So here's a slide on that. Um, deadlines are really important, so if you need to turn in your initial discussion post by Thursday night, it needs to be in there by Thursday night, midnight. And the same thing for the Sunday night 
deadlines, they are tremendously important. We only have eight weeks in this course. So um, the deadlines are extremely important. You have to get everything in and you have to stay caught up if at all possible. Another thing that's really important is to follow the guidelines for each assignment. Well, what are these? These are called guidelines. Also, you will have a rubric included. A rubric is just a grading instrument that helps me and also helps you to see what you've missed, what you've included, uh, what you're getting points taken off for, what you're getting points for in each assignment. So everything that is in this course has a guideline and a rubric. Be sure to follow these. They are tremendously important. Next is to label everything. So if there's a question that you have to answer, uh, what are the nine characteristics of life? Then you would say in your response, the nine characteristics of life are blah, 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 blah. Um, so make sure you label everything and answer everything that's required of you. Labeling will be tremendously important when we get to the final project, and I will be talking to you more about that because I have to know where the sections are of your final project and of anything in general. So make sure that you label everything. This is not an English um, course, a creative writing course in English. This is a science class, so everything is very straightforward. So whenever you're thinking about how you're going to go about answering questions in here, just remember to label everything. All right, and then finally, when you're in doubt about an assignment, about something that's being asked of you, or if you're in trouble, you end up getting the flu, um, you have an emergency, ask me send me a message. I do have a phone number, but you you will have to leave a message for me there, and that's perfectly fine. You can leave me a message, and I'll call you back or email you. The easiest way to get a hold of me is through my email, because I am constantly checking that. m.sigmund at snhu.edu. So let me know if you need anything. So we are off to a good start. Let's get started with this first week and get going. And before you know it, we'll be finished. I look forward to meeting all of you.